Museum. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Loserly VSG. I am Megan. I had surgery on December 27, 2018. I am 31 years old, and I am 5'7". Today is 39 weeks. Last week, I weighed in at 176, and this week, I weighed in at 176, which I'm fine with. And I might be fine with it forever. I don't know. I, uh, like half of me wants to lose as much weight as possible to get as far away from like 200 as I can. And then half of me fills my ribs, you know, when I touch my chest right here. And like last night when I got out of the bathtub, I could see them. And that's just something I never wanted. I didn't want to see. It's just not something I wanted. So it really made me think like, do I want to lose more weight or do I just want to maintain where I'm at and get plastics, which will hopefully, you know, take me down a little more and maybe I'll be where I want to be. I just don't want to get stuck with any regain, you know, taking me out of where I feel comfortable. So I'm just going to have to learn to maintain or, you know, go down just a little bit more. I don't know. So I had, when I posted those chaffles, I had some people ask me, and I even had um, a lady I work with today ask me about bread and ask me if I had any trouble with bread. Chaffle is not bread, by the way. But no, I don't have any problems with bread. But I also don't try to eat a ton of bread. So if we're out and about and we're going to have hamburgers, I do take one side of the bun off, but I leave one side of the bun on. Or we went to an Italian place to eat and they had, you know, like the long piece of bread. And I did have a slice of bread in the oil and then I was done with that. Uh, it didn't cause me any problems, but I also know... Like, I don't need all those carbs in my life. I didn't want, I don't want to fill up on just bread. Those are pretty much the reasons, but I haven't had any kind of bread that's caused me any problems. Also to go with that, the lady I was talking to at work, who happens to be the CEO of where I work, she had surgery in June. And it's always nice to talk to people who've had the same surgery as you, going through the same stuff as you. Um... But she lives her life kind of like I do. She was telling me about um, some cookies she had experimented with, you know, trying to make them healthier. And and she said, you know, I'm just not going to be bread-free and pasta-free. That's just not how I'm going to live my life. That's not the way my house is going to be. And I totally agree. Do I think that that stuff needs eaten in moderation? Yes. Did I have to throw away a thing of cookies last week because I couldn't, you know, do it in moderation? Yes. Sorry. We just played that Bean Boozled game, which you will see in this video also, and I didn't even, I think I ate four total, and I just am burping so bad. Um, but, you know, not only, I mean, like, I have a family I live with, and I'm not even going to blame it on family. I'm going to blame it on me. I enjoy bread. I enjoy pasta. I'm not going to ever, I can't say never, but I, I can't see me being on a keto diet, you know, where I can't have bread and I can't have pasta. I like to have those sometimes in moderation. It's just how I have a full life makes me happy. But speaking of eating, I think, and I've talked about this before, but um, having the desire to eat big portions, and it's like, it's almost like fear of missing out. So I get, so I see everybody else have these big bowls and getting to eat all this food, and I already get anxious because I know I'm going to eat like this much food, and it's going to fill me up. I'm going to be satisfied, but I just want to eat. Like I enjoyed just eating the process of it and enters the addiction, I guess. So I have been feeling that a lot lately. 
luckily, thankfully, I do have a small belly, and so all the food I do want to eat, I can. And I know I touched on chaffles a minute ago, and I've been sending a lot of people to Erica's channel. But if you have questions about chaffles, I am no expert at all. You can find them anywhere. My main source is Time to Shrink Erica, which you can find her all over. She has a ton of different ideas. I am kind of just playing with things that I have right now, like peanut butter sounded good the other day, so I just made me a chaffle without cheese and put peanut butter on it, and it wasn't the greatest, but it satisfied me. And the day I wanted a bacon sandwich, I made a really crispy chaffle sandwich with bacon in the middle, and it satisfied me. So once you learn how to make them and you have the equipment, you can kind of just play you know, along with whatever you want to do, or you can go, go follow different channels and see, you know, different ways to make them. But you should definitely do it. I did video last week, but I'm telling you guys, in the, the middle of nowhere, it's impossible to get these video up, videos up fast, and it kind of wears me down, and then I don't, I might, I might, tape them and then I don't have the energy to try to get them up you know it takes hours and nights and I just don't have it in me tonight I, I want a video for you and I want to talk to you but like thinking about how long it's going to take me to put everything together and get it uploaded due to the internet is exhausting so it makes me sad that that's where I'm at but we are getting fiber here soon and one day I will fix my phone microphone so then I can kind of video more during my day instead of just relying on the laptop. So I will attach, I think it's 38 week video at the end of this. My energy just has not been high and I could tell in that last video it's just pretty low and it's not really exciting, which, I mean, I kind of always just sat and chatted, but as I've been watching more YouTube videos, you know, I just want to do more than just sit and chat. I want to show you everything I do. I want to bring you along with me all day, every day. And I could do that, but just with no sound because that mic is shoddy, as we all know. So hang in there with me. I'll eventually, I know I've been saying it for a long time, but I'll eventually get something that works and hopefully this internet comes soon. I'm working on a project right now that I hope to also share with you in the future. So it's like just a, it's like a project for my house. So not like cookbooks like Erica or makeup or perfume or anything fun like that. It's just a project for my house. But I think some moms and dads would want to know about it. So I will also be taping some of that. So like this. Just here. No. Yes, my. Fuck. You should have seen some. In it. Uh, yeah. One time. Okay. So you got strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? All right, Abby, try it. See if it's good or gross. It's. You gotta bad. bite it. Is it good? What's it like? How does it taste like? Yucky. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bad one? Take a drink. Chocolate cream uh, and dog food. Ah, oh, no! What do you get, dead fish? <laughs> it's tuna. What do you mean it's tuna? Tastes like tuna. Well, that's not that bad. I mean, it kind of tastes like a dirty wash rag, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> Toasted marshmallow or stinker? Mm -hmm. I did There you go. No, we don't know. Tell us if it's good or boy. Does it taste like a marshmallow? You gotta chew it. I mean, you oh. didn't even chew it. You get points if you chew it. Chew it. I don't like it. Because you make me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. Barf? <laughs> Did you 
Look at the camera again while she was doing it. Ew. Why is this one super yellow? Oh, it's popcorn for sure. Be quiet. Be quiet. Get out. <laughs> what are you doing? Quit. Come at me. Go. <laughs> Don't want to go. Maybe you'll get a good one. No. Okay, okay. This is not a bad one. I'm out. This is gross. Good one. Tutti Fruity. I don't like Tutti Fruity. Mom, Dirty Dishwasher. Dad, I want to come and see. I don't care what you want to say. Does it taste like a Dirty Dishwasher? Spit it out. <coughs> Ew. Mommy, I see. Okay, never mind. I don't want to go. Yeah, I'm done too. I win. I'm on the table. Me and Dad tied. Today marks 38 weeks. When I started, well, surgery weight was 242, and today I weighed in at 176. When I got back from Vegas, I was 181, which was about a five or six pound gain. And so that was Monday's weigh-in, which at work we're doing that challenge. So when I weighed in, I was 181 there. So this morning when I weighed in, I'm already back down to 176. And that is a total of 166 pounds down from my highest recorded weight. Um, exciting things happening. I went ahead and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. But I sent um, a request into Alex Galvez, I think is how you say his name. He is the plastic surgeon that a lot of us really want to do our plastics and take the extra skin off. Grace Gets Gastric just did posted a video today about that process. Um, so she, if you head on over there, then you can kind of understand what I went through also. And so you have to answer questions, submit stuff about your health, and submit nude photos. So that is done. And with hers, it took like two months for them to get back with her with a quote because he's so busy. So that's just what I've prepared myself for. Also, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's who I want to do mine. But if I get free consults, I mean, it doesn't hurt, I guess, to check it out in the States. And especially if there's somebody close to me, which was absolutely not on the board at all. But I had heard some pretty good reviews on a doctor near me. So I set up a consult with him for October 11th. We will see what he has to say. And then I'll be able to compare prices as well. So I thought it doesn't hurt to check it out. So big steps moving forward that I'm excited for. Um, like I tell most people, I knew that plastics was going to be in my future probably after having weight loss. I have been classified as obese um, pretty much my whole life. And so as much as I hoped that maybe I wouldn't have very much skin, I do. And I've showed you guys. Not enough to irritate me, cause infections, anything like that, but enough where I don't feel comfortable having that much skin my entire life. So this is my next journey. So this past week, since I got back from, well, let me talk a little more about Vegas. I did do a Vegas blog or vlog just showing around Vegas, but while I was in, Ve while I was in Vegas, um, it's just like one of those social situations where not being able to eat and drink together um, was kind of awkward. Not because of the people I was with. Uh, that didn't bother me at all. But we had went to a bar and without even thinking, with everyone else ordering bottomless drinks, I wanted bottomless drinks. And then they were also having brunch. So I got about half of my drink in 
and then they wanted to order brunch. So I ordered mine and then I ate mine. And then while they all continued drinking, 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 I had to wait 30 minutes, which I know made the serve the waitress. She's like, what's wrong? You don't like it? Can I get you another one? Uh, so it's a little weird. I didn't want to be like, yo, lady, I can't drink <laughs> for 30 minutes after. So I was trying to get Josh to take some drinks of mine so it looked like I was drinking it. Um, but anyways, ever since I got back from Vegas, there's been a little, I don't want to say spiraling because I didn't, I didn't just eat all the junk food and get crazy, but I, it's more like loss of motivation for a little bit. I wasn't feeling as motivated. I, if I was wanting to eat something, I was giving in to temptations. I wasn't working out. So, I mean, it kind of was, I guess, like spiraling, but I happened to watch an episode of Grey's Anatomy, and if you're familiar with it, you know that Dr. Weber is an alcoholic, and there's this scene where he is, he goes into a bar, and he's getting ready to drink, and he takes a baseball bat, and he just slams all of the alcohol bottles and all the shots they had poured for him, and um, the guy says like, Hey man, this was your choice. And he's like, you're right. It is my choice. And it was just super powerful. Grey's Anatomy makes me really emotional. It's a good show. Um, but that powerful scene kind of snapped me out of it. Like you can beat your addiction and it is your choice and you've just got to stay strong, you know? So kind of snapped me out of it. We had a jar of cookies from a cookout I had for Josh's birthday that I had tried to get rid of, but he said he wanted them. I told them he needed to take them to the garage because it was a temptation for me at night and it was a temptation for Evie in the morning. She was constantly wanting cookies in the morning. So they never got moved and I was tired of being tempted and I didn't want to sabotage myself. So I threw all those cookies away. And the next night when he was like, where are all the cookies? I was like, in the trash. Because you didn't take them to the garage like I told you. And I'm not trying to sabotage myself or my child. So that's where they're going. So I had to throw the cookies away. I finally got my lab scheduled. So I got a letter in the mail. And in October, I will get my labs drawn. So I'm pretty psyched about that because I want to make sure all my levels are where they need to be. They also tried to schedule a doctor's appointment for me in October. But since he only meets with me for like 45 seconds at a time, I was like, absolutely not. I said, I will wait until my one year in December and I will meet with him then. So I said yes to labs, no to a 45 second appointment that I'm going to get billed for. No, thank you. Does anybody else feel like most of their day is eating, drinking? And it's like that's all I can ever think about. Like I have to eat and then I have to wait 30 minutes until I can drink. So I'm constantly watching the clock. And then I need to make sure that I'm hydrated. So then I'm constantly trying to get my water in. But <clears throat> when I'm done drinking, then it's like, lunchtime. So then I'm eating my meal and then again I am have to wait the 30 minutes to drink again. It's just like there's never a break, at least for me. Like I just feel like there's never a time that I'm not eating or drinking. And I feel bad if I'm sitting around and I don't, I'm not drinking something, especially if I, you know, haven't drank that much water because I am a serious coffee drinker. I can drink coffee all day, every day. Um, which could maybe be fine. I don't know. But then I feel guilty when I don't have any water. So anybody else? Is your life just revolving around food, drink, food, drink, food, drink? Anybody? Look what I ordered. 
sorry, my nails broke on this side. I haven't tried it yet. I just got it in the mail, so I'll let you know. And I got a chaffle maker. It's actually just a mini waffle maker, but I got them for the purpose of chaffles. And if you need a chaffle re recipe, go to Time to Shrink Erica. She will give you so many savory and sweet chaffle recipes. Check her out. I had to buy one of these just because her videos of all the delicious ones she makes. So I'll also let you know how this works, but check it out. If you guys have any questions for me or any suggestions on any videos that you're wanting me to do, don't, hesita don't hesitate to put it down below. Um, I had some people asking me, you know, people that are still getting ready for the surgery, asking about my vitamins and, you know, just early stages of stuff, which I have no problem sharing. And she had mentioned that some people um, aren't really as friendly and don't like to talk and give that information. So if there's something on your mind, something you want to know, something that my other videos haven't hit on, or maybe they have hit on, but you want more information, let me know. Write it down below and I will add it into my next video. Uh, if you're new here, hi, welcome, and subscribe, please, like the video. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. So I will see you all next week, and thank you for watching. Bye.